Hey guys, so I'm not sure I fully explained what was happening yesterday. So just to give you the lowdown, um, a wonderful lady called Pam and Sharon reached out to me and they were like, look, we'd love to be um, your trail angels and come and meet you and either give you a resupply or just help you in whatever way we can. And so when I crossed over into a New York state, we've been in contact and they came and met me so and then also their friend Barbara was there as well so they ended up driving me 20 minutes back to um, uh, to Barbara's house where I basically did my laundry laid all my stuff out I just sort of slept down here on the couch last night um, they did a whole resupply for me they got me new socks um, they bought me bug spray so just amazing amazing incredible women so that was just um yeah phenomenal like just the kindness of strangers is is incredible let me tell you about today so today it is tuesday the 8th of august i can't believe it so waking up this morning gonna have a lovely breakfast upstairs pam i believe has bought some bagels but i'm gonna film it this morning as well then i'm gonna have to pack up all of this sort of stuff i think you can see the mess that i have completely um completely sort of made everywhere but my shoes yesterday were completely soaked they're now dry which is always nice i can get rid of those socks i've got new socks um yeah my sleeping bag is dry so it is going to be oh a fabulous day and then it is yeah, i think it's going to be really tough to get back on the trail but um yeah we're currently let me just tell you what we're doing so it, yeah day 67 today I am at mile 1383.9. I walked 17.9 miles yesterday, 20.9 the day before, 26.7 the day before that, 24.9 the day before that, 20 before that, 23.5, 26.5. I think you get um, the drift. So yeah, so day 67, Tuesday the 8th of August, 1,383.9 miles have done so far. Still a long way to go to get to 2,190, but we're going well. Right, let's go say hello to the ladies. <laughs> good morning, ladies. New York bagels. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. Oh yeah. Cinnamon raisins. Oh, I've timed this very well, haven't I? Oh, fantastic. Right guys, just packing up the final bits and bobs. Got rid of my old socks and I've got a new toilet roll. It's all very exciting. So everything's going here. Check out my new socks, a smart wool. Very exciting. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> so, so guys, oh, Pam, say hello, Pam. Hi. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> Pam is being a total legend and carrying my backpack. I'm just going to take a little, uh, a little purse. Oh, New York. <laughs> Tote. New York tote. Right guys, so we're gonna say goodbye to Barbara's house. Thank you so much for having Thank me to stay. You. Thank you for empowering oh. women. Yeah. yeah. Oh so oh don't forget my walking poles. Women, children, girls, boys. Everybody. <laughs> so I've had a super amazing time. We've got resupplied, I've got new toilet roll, I've got new socks. I feel mentally recharged and re-energized. And we're gonna head back out to the trail. I'm gonna go stop and buy some cream to stop me itching. Oh my god, pants are legend. It suits you, it looks good. It looks so low. It feels good. Not too heavy. Not right now. Not right now. You're I think it's an hour. I think it's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> right. We're and gonna we're get to the trail <laughs> in style with this gorgeous lime green GT. This is how we roll. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So Pam is quickly going to explain where we go, where I'm going next. So talk me through it. What's All happening? Right, you're going to walk through this field here, and then once you get to the wooded area, you'll start to go up, 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 an incline, and there'll be a lake up there. It's called Pine Island Lake. Yeah. And you'll see where they built like a little bit of a wall into the lake, and that was built for the purpose of a house at the Avril Harriman, you know, of the founder of Harriman State Park. He wanted to build a house up there. He mm. never actually did. But um, before you get to that area, you go through one of my favorite little spots called the Lemon Squeezer, which is a very interesting rock formation. Ooh. You're gonna kind of like go under the rocks and go through some rocks on the ground that are very narrow like this. Yeah. All right, so it should be- The Lemon Squeezer. Lemon Squeezer, yes. Amazing. Uh, it'll be interesting how you're gonna get your pack through there. 
but with your long legs you might be able to kind of like uh -huh. pop up the top and then there'll be like another rock formation that you have to climb up so lots of Although climbing lots for of me climbing yeah i mean it's just very interesting i can't climb up it i go around it but at the top yeah. there is where he was going to build his house this is where we're going folks this is yeah. the next section on the appalachian trail yeah. Woo! I will. <laughs> so we say we are. Oh, I'm saying goodbye to the guys. I'm getting back on the trail. Bye. Thank you so much. Good 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 see you soon. Bye bye. Oh. Many more Appalachian angels. <laughs> Absolutely. And we're we are now back on the trail. Dun, dun, dun. It's actually really emotional. Like I've had such such an amazing i think it's been like less than 24 hours but being collected being driven to somebody's house like being fed looked after you know having a fresh peach in the car um bought me a goodie bag filled with amazing food i've got new, new i think i've said this all the time like new socks new gloves i've got repaired my poncho just i've just had such an incredible time and just getting to to sleep and do my wi-fi and just chat with inspirational ladies um it's actually really tough leaving it all leaving it behind and and getting back on the trail and getting back into the woods and at least it's not raining today which is uh which is obviously fantastic so new day this is day 67 i believe like where is the time going i've got no idea so um, like Pam said, we've got a couple of big climbs coming up. Looking forward to the lemon squeezy. That's going to be fun. But back on the trail, guys. Back on the trail. So just like Pam was saying, these are some of the fun things we've got to look forward to. Green Pond, Island Pond Road, the lemon squeezer, fingerboard shelter, Arden Valley Road. Da -da -da. I think I quite like to get to Bountain, Bountain? Bear Mountain Bridge. So... 18.8 miles, obviously I need to do a little bit more than that, but it's about 10 o'clock now, so I am starting out a lot later than normal, so I'm going to play things by ear and to see how, oh, see how we, see how we get on, oh, excuse me, see how we get on. <laughs> So Pam mentioned the lemon squeezy, which I think is this. So we can see the the A on the wall, of the Appalachian Trail. Whoop! Oopsie. Okay, let's go through. Here we go. Oh my God, it's a little bit steep. <laughs> Okay, let's have a look where we're going. Oh, I think this. This is the lemon squeezy. There we go. Okay, this is gonna be interesting because I don't know if I'm gonna fit. <laughs> and there's so many mosquitoes. Um um uh. Okay, this is a bit of a squeeze. I'm gonna have to
Oh. Lemon squeezy. I'm climbing out of it. Because I can't make it through. <laughs> Part of Maine, 793 miles. Woohoo, less than 800 guys. Okay, that's the blaze. This is the route. Such a different day today. Sun is shining. Beautiful view of the lake. The greenery, nice and cool. Ah, oh, more climbing, big old steep climbs coming up. And you can see the blaze on the tree, and then we're going up there, and then probably higher and higher and higher, but it's all good. It is five o'clock, I've been walking for seven hours, so it's time for a little break, a little, uh, a little bit of snack. And ta-da! Boiled egg time. I'm very excited. I know what you're thinking. I haven't had a boiled egg since that trail magic like a couple of weeks ago. So yes, eggs, here we come. Hello, stairs. And then it goes up there. One thousand four hundred miles, guys! Woo! Guys, welcome to Bear Mountain. Oh, time is about twenty past seven. So we started at ten. So seven. Been walking for nine hours. Uh, past the one thousand four hundred mile mark um, a little while ago. Check out this terrain. It's very nice, isn't it? Very civilized path. Not very rocky. So that means that I have got 790 miles to go. Bum, bum, bum. Guys, guess who we're catching up with? It's the Brits. Say hello, guys. It is, they're here. Oh, no, not quite. Oh, outside the, uh, vending machine. the vending machines. What, the, what are they doing the sh by the shiny lights? Oh, we've got a big old tower over there. Oh. Observation tower. Observation tower. <gasps> okay, this do you know what, I've been out of water for quite a while, but actually do you know what I do need? It's like a power aid. Oh my god, okay, this is what I'm going for guys. Nice. And that's, is there water here as well? Yeah. No, there's no like there's no like water no, water, no, but it's expensive. Expensive. Water. Oh. Sure so I'm gonna try and bash out another five miles and get to a campsite. So just heading down now from Bear Mountain from the viewing tower. Uh, from seeing the Brits, which was pretty awesome. And um, yeah, so it's two miles all downhill. Pretty good terrain, to be honest. Like, it's been like nice going. Got my head torch ready, just in case I do have to do a little bit of night hiking. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna see how far, far I can get. Let's do this, whoop. <laughs> 